Friday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. Boy, never a dull moment in the weather business, right? We think we're going to have a nice, easy, moderate snowstorm. The models are in pretty good agreement. There's no mixing concerns. There's no sleet and freezing rain. This one should be relatively easy, right? Well, for parts of our area, not so much. We had a Mondo band that's set up over Columbiana County that we'll talk about in this video and uh, brought a whole lot of snow to some of our southern viewing area. But this was the scene in Niles today. Time lapse starting just before daybreak, running through about sunset. Accumulations in this part of our viewing area were as expected. A couple inches, few inches in, in many places, but generally pretty manageable. You know, the snow rates were pretty light. The air temperatures were in the 20s, so road treatment pretty effective. And while occasionally we did, you know, have some slick spots and the uh, road surfaces, the major roads got dusted over, in our northern viewing area, generally this was, you know, very, very manageable. At the airport, we got 2.9 inches as of the climate report at about uh, 520 this evening. That puts us actually above average for the month, 1.3 inches so far, or far above the uh, average for the month so far, I should say. Uh, we're, of course, well behind average in terms of the seasonal total, but for January, uh, you know, we're running above average now. Then that's going to change because we might not see hardly a flake for the rest of the month once we get done with Saturday. But uh, so our final total might end up being about 13, 14 inches. Um, but as of right now, we're just a little bit above the average. But boy, so a lake enhanced band was over towards I-77 and it wiggled just far enough south and east like this to dump, you know, a whole lot of snow from a, basically a corridor from, oh, Alliance, Sebring, Beloit through Salem, Damascus, heading down towards Lisbon, West Point, Glenmore, Calcutta, East Liverpool area. Now, these are some reports that even are a couple of hours old at this point. I think there's going to be a corridor from Salem to East Liverpool that a lot of places ended up getting six and a half, seven inches worth of snow. And, you know, outside of that band, you're saying, wow, uh, how, did, how in the world did that happen? Because we only got two or three inches, about three in, or so in Boardman, and that was pretty common across most of the central and northern parts of our viewing area. I'm recording this video at 7.13. The worst of that band has finally exited Columbiana County. It's still snowing, but we're just about done with the big accumulations in our southern viewing area. But boy, that thing snaked around for several hours, and it was really tough sledding. Uh, 62, 14, Route 11, Route 30, heading down towards uh, the Ohio River. Uh, just a whole lot of snow, and yes, that came as a uh, surprise. That's not something that can be really predicted or modeled well, you know, 24 hours ahead of time. That, that kind of mesoscale or small-scale feature, if you will, um, is only predictable by humans and models on a scale of 6 to 12 hours, not really 24. In the meantime, this was a, uh, you know, kind of a modest winter storm, but it did produce uh, some of the heavier amounts of snow that we've seen in a long time in some bigger cities, DC, Baltimore, Philadelphia. Did you catch this earlier today? These meso vortices coming down Lake Michigan. This was really cool to watch on the radar. Basically swirls, uh, vortices, if you will, lining up across the central part of Lake Michigan and bringing uh, heavy amounts of snow, mostly over the water, of course, but then they did come on shore and produce copious amounts of snow late today in southwestern Michigan and northern Indiana as well. Let's turn the page on that storm and head into the weekend, and our flavor of the day Saturday is cold. That being said, yes, there can be some snowflakes around. I think there'll be a scattering of flurries. Best chance of, of maybe a, another half an inch worth of accumulation with a heavier snow shower would be in the usual places. It would be in Trumbull and Mercer with this. Um, but even that's probably an exception. Most of the day, just some scattered flurries and just bundle up. It's going to be no higher than the teens. Wind chills not far from zero. We'll finally lose the snowflakes then later tomorrow night. And again, I don't think we'll see another one, perhaps until sometime in February. High pressure builds in, and clouds will break for some sunshine Sunday, followed by our warm front on Monday. And this is the front that ushers in the thaw for next week. We'll get off to a cold start Monday morning. It'll be below 20. But we'll crack freezing Monday afternoon, beginning the melt and the thaw. And this isn't going to be a freeze-thaw cycle. Once we go above freezing Monday into especially Monday night, Tuesday morning, we should stay above freezing for several days in a row. So it's not going to be one of those things where we're above freezing during the day and then it drops into the teens at night and you get a big freeze-thaw th cycle and that can cause a lot of issues. We're not going to have that. What will be perhaps more problematic will be the chances for rain coming up next week. In the meantime, 17 tomorrow and 23 on Sunday, but this is the last hurrah of this Arctic pattern we've been in for a week or so now. And I don't see something like this coming back until perhaps fairly deep into February. We're going to talk more about the February and long-range forecast next week. 
on Weather for Weather Geeks. You may remember from our annual winter forecast, we were kind of pegging February to be the month that had the long, the biggest chances of sustained cold, wintry weather. The second half of the month may bear that out, but I'm seeing signs that the first week to 10 days of February will not be all that cold. So the end of January, the start of February, not cold really at all. And yeah, next week looks wet. This is going to be a corridor from the Gulf Coast region right up through the northeast in which waves of low pressure are just going to keep riding northward and producing rain chances. Uh, for us here locally, I think, you know, it's on the table that we see at least an inch, if not up to two inches worth of rain between Monday night, Tuesday morning, and next weekend. That combined with the snow melt, especially in areas that got five, six, seven inches of snow today, that may make for some uh, rivers running pretty high by late next week. Uh, some local streams as well. So that's something we'll be keeping a close eye on next week. The impacts of this big thaw coming our way. We're going to spend several days in a row with highs in the 40s next week. All right, we'll do a full recap, of course, of the entire day and much, much more tonight on 21 News at 11. Thanks for your uh, patience in this uh, winter weather blitz this week. Thanks for tuning in to Weather for Weather Geeks. Have a great weekend, everyone. I will see you back here on Monday.